Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. Now I'm ready to deal with the question about Robbie Grossman, the outfielder and relief pitcher, Tanner Scott, should the Giants try to acquire these players. Thanks for that question, it was very well thought out. You mentioned that Grossman is a hitter with a very high on-base percentage as well as the ability to play superb defense, which by the way, in terms of defense, it's something the Giants need, although his on-base percentage to be good will have to improve over what it was last year. And Tanner Scott, you mentioned he's a reliever with a very high strikeout ratio per nine innings. And I was the one that mentioned that this offseason, if the Giants don't get some of the best free agents on the board, then they've blown it. They've, they've blown their 2023 prospects in the offseason. I was the one that said that, but now, realistically, we're at a point where we just have to admit that it's highly likely that the talent is just not there. Although, the Giants made a couple of of signings. They signed outfielder Michael Conforto to two years and reliever Taylor Rogers to three. Now Taylor Rogers gets to join his twin brother Tyler Rogers in the bullpen. That's going to be kind of cool. And if any of you are so inclined, you, you might be wondering if even as bad as this offseason's gone, maybe something like analytics has the ability to change the outlook for the Giants even now. If there was ever a time when we needed a Billy Bean or a Paul D. Podesta, it'd be now. If there was ever a time when we needed Moneyball to be relived in 2023, it'd be in 2023. Ironically, the A's need this. The modern day A's need this just as much as we do. So I think what the Giants should do, if you're asking me just for a direct answer in 2023, is they were right to sign Conforto and Rogers. They're right to continue to try to improve their roster in any way possible. And I think they should play next season. And yes, start out with a focus on, on player development and, and kind of rebuilding the system and do a good job at the draft. We want to focus on the, the here and now. I know that's what everybody wants here, but the draft is a, a real part of, of baseball operations. Then if they do have an unexpected hot streak, if we get a pleasant surprise, they need to push for it at the trade deadline. That, in short, is what I believe in for next season going forward, just the way things are. Now about Robbie Grossman and Tanner Scott, Grossman's on base percentage, and I was mentioning the Moneyball era and what the A's did back in the early 2000s, and it's interesting that on base percentage was one of was a part of their primary focus and how they they got the team actually a low revenue team to some action and that it's interesting that Grossman's the guy who has that high on base percentage so it's something to notice also defense was an area that the Giants just considerably needed to improve in and Tanner Scott you mentioned his high strikeout rate I like that and the, the signing of Taylor Rogers goes into this too. I, I believe that the next market and efficiency in baseball is going to be relief pitchers. Just the fact that relief pitchers, especially non-closers, although that, that's, that's not saying you, you shouldn't go after the closers and pay the big money, but the, the fact that relief pitchers in general are undervalued, I think that's going to be the next market and efficiency and that sometime in the future, either a team or a handful of teams are going to capitalize on it and and use it to win games. So these are viable options for the Giants going forward. And it, we, we can say at least that they've done something in the offseason, although it certainly still doesn't look like they have a team loaded with talent. And, and doing more by way of trades, which Grossman's a free agent, but Scott, they'd have to get in a trade, and just looking where they can get kind of solid players in trades. That's probably better than just promoting a bunch of AAA guys in, in 2023, relying on your farm system at the major league level. It, it probably is more likely to breathe success into this team. So I'd say the Giants just go into 2023 and hope that they have some kind of a hot streak like they had in 2019 or 2020 or even like 2022, just that they get a better start to the season than 
you could expect. Interesting thing though is I'm pretty sure they were expecting to be good in 2022. It's just that they, well, maybe they shouldn't have because it's not like they were super aggressive last off season either. And this off season, they intended to be intended to be super aggressive, and it's, it's like it it didn't work out. So I'm I'm not sure that you can have too big expectations as far as the way things realistically go. But I, I think they should just use the best the, the best processes they can. And again, acquiring players probably better than just promoting prospects, especially considering that the Giants haven't performed very well at the draft over the past few years and that they their farm system is, is definitely not one of the best in baseball. So th that, I believe, is where things stand right now. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Keep the questions and comments coming. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next time. It's on Thursday, by the way. Remember, I'm switching to Thursdays now. It's an easier schedule for me, so I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.